This is QNN. From Montreal, Quebec, and McGill Faculty of Law, this is Quidnovi Online for February 4th, 2010. With Charlie Feldman, Katie Weber, and Corey Woolman. Quidnovi News, your news now. Bonjour to the mall, bienvenue à Telegénal Quid Novi Online. I'm Katie Weber. And I'm Charlie Feldman. In tonight's news... The Factum. Students scramble to complete the biggest assignment of their lives. And Mateos is closing, getting replaced by Tim Hortons. Dean Jutra says two languages, two legal systems, the perfect double-double. This and more on tonight's Quid Novi Online. But first, our top story. Today is Factum Day at the McGill Faculty of Law. Students are struggling to hand in their factums after two weeks of work. We have Chanel Sterry on the scene reporting live outside the library. Chanel, can you describe the scene there for us, please? Katie, I've been standing outside the Nahum Galper Library for the past three hours. When I first arrived, students were filtering into the library pretty slowly. But now, they're rushing into the library, some even running. It's a little hectic. Have you noticed any difference in personal hygiene amongst the students that you've seen there or smelled? Well, Katie, there's definitely been a change in what you'd expect from McGill Law students. But we have to remember that with the fact of being handed in today, their priorities have been completely flipped around. And a lot of students are looking very disoriented. Take a look at this interview I was able to have moments ago with one such student. Excuse me, can I uh, stop you for an interview? Sure, sure. So how are you feeling so close to the fact of death? I'm fine, I'm fine. Feelings, um, I haven't felt anything in a long time, but I'm fine, fine. And uh, what do you have left to do on your factum? Are you close to being done? Totally done, totally done. Except, except I need to proofread it once and, uh, and do my citations. Do you have a site guide? Because, well, it's fine, don't worry about it. I, I know that stuff, anyway. Um, um, no, it's good, it's good. I just need to do my conclusions and write my introduction, but it's all fine. I should go. I should, I should go. I, okay, cool. Thanks. See you later. Thank you. As you can see, students are looking pretty frazzled today. Our cameraman got a guided tour inside the library where students were putting final touches to their factum. Thanks for uh, visiting us today at the McGill Faculty of Law. You uh, just caught me. Uh, I like to do lunges up the hill from time to time. What a beautiful day we have today. Uh, a great day to spend inside Gelber Library. Come join me. I like to call it the G. I spend a lot of uh, a lot of my time here. It's good to have nicknames and those kinds of things. It's uh, it's actually factum day today. Uh, students will be finishing off a rather large project. It's a capstone project, really, encompassing most of the efforts that we've uh, put into legal matches so far this year. The the law is the law is like an egg. It's it's hard to crack. And once you do, it's just messy everywhere. And that's why people need a leader. They need a, they need a chief hen. I think I'm that chief hen. But every hen house has a fox messing everything up, annoying the hell out of the chief hen. Andrew's the fox. Michael, did you do the footnotes? Jesus, Andrew, what is wrong with you? Michael, I need to get to the office. But we have to do these footnotes right now, Michael. We don't have much time. There's no rush. I'm sure you'll be fine. Michael, don't worry. Please. Don't worry. Michael. for snails that come into this library and make a lot of noise. Hey, Jesse? And he pokes me. Who pokes anymore? In prehistoric times, 
all of that noise she's making would have attracted a lot of bears. The tribe would have gotten rid of her a long time ago. I'm just really, really stressed out. I have half an hour to turn in the best fact in my can. I mean, look at this girl. Are you getting this? She's not even doing work. She's in my library and she's watching DVDs. Enter. Michael, you have to stop, stop. talking. No. You don't understand. The fact fact um, I need half an hour. I need you to take action. I need you to go out there and tell that thing to leave. Please. Can I get your word on that? Seriously. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. 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 You know what's gonna happen, Michael? Oh, Michael. Look at, look at Andrew. Michael. Did you do the footnotes, look at the, Michael? Look at did what you do the footnotes? Andrew. Michael, Michael, we need to get. And she took my seat too, Michael. She took my word on that. I don't even have a place to sit. I come to the law library because the lighting is good right here. I can do my makeup, plus it's at just the right angle that I can see my computer screen enough to watch my videos. Who wants to hang out on lower campus? I mean, it's all a bunch of 18 year olds, right? I mean, just because I've been in university for seven years doesn't mean that I have to hang out with all the newbies. I don't know what the big deal is about going to other faculty's libraries. I'm not even in law. Like, I just come here and wear a shirt with a collar on it and I just kind of blend in. Um, but this girl here, she just won't shut up. It's people like this who give us snails a bad name. Michael, are you going to speak to her? Listen, that no, Michael, what are Michael, you doing? Michael, are you please, please, Michael, listen, listen, just let, listen to me for I one second, you, Michael. Don't, please don't take this for protection. Away. Take it for protection, it. Michael. Michael. What to do about the snail? Well, as chief arbiter here at the G, I'm practiced in the art of interpersonal mediation. But what the sociopologist told me was that it's really important to learn the language of your counterparty, to speak their language. Well, I did some boning up. So I'm just gonna go out there and give it to her hard and fast. <laughs> That's what she said. Someone needs to get the out of my library right now. It's fact and day, there is no time.